Yeah, go ahead, kill him. Let's see. <laughs> Here's everything you're gonna need in order to install your Faven lights to a zero to 10 volt lighting controller. You'll need a pair of wire strippers, RJ11 cable, an 18 to two thermostat cable, and of course your Faven lighting. In order to begin the process, you're gonna wanna grab one of the two wires. You'll want to start by taking about one to two inches down off this outer sheet. I'd recommend being very careful when cutting it with a pair of wire strippers. If you're newer to these kind of things, I'd recommend picking up maybe a couple, just so if you do end up damaging it or having to restart, you'll have extras on the side to do any sort of repairs. Pull the sheet off, reeling the full wires. You always wanna make sure that you inspect all the wires around after removing the outer sheath to make sure you have no cuts or anything because that will cause a shortage when you go to power up your lights. Now that you stripped the tops of these wires, you can begin twisting them together. So looking at it flat, you'll want to take these outer two wires, take them, twist them together. Just get a nice clean braid between them. Then you'll want to take these inner two wires then twist them together and it should look like this. Keep in mind that RJ11 won't always be the, these color combinations. You could have different colors, but always know that it, it'll be the outer two wires connected and then the inner two wires connected. You can always look at the other end that'll connect to the Faven lights and check to make sure that you have the right. Now that you're all finished stripping your wire, you'll want to take some sort of wire connector these are just some ordinary lever nut connectors. You can either use these or you can use wire nuts. So what you're gonna wanna do is take what's going to be your communication, hook it into one side, click this down, give it a nice tug, make sure it's locked in. Then you'll wanna take what's gonna be your communication. I recommend choosing the red one just to make it simple. Push it in there, lock it in, give it a nice tug. And there you go. Then do the same, what's gonna be your power end. Take what would be your inner two wires, put them in, snap it down, nice little tug. And then same thing with your wire. Just get in there, snap, tug. There you go. Now you have your RJ11 connected to your 18-2 thermostat wire. Now that you've finished hooking up your RJ11 to your 18-2 thermostat wire, you're gonna wanna go to the other end of your 18-2 wire and strip this outer sheathing in order to con connect it to your 10 volt controller. So again, go about one to two inches down, carefully cutting this outer sheath. I'd recommend getting plenty of wire. You can get 1,000 feet at Home Depot, relatively cheap. Always inspect your wires, make sure you have no cuts or anything. So what you're gonna need is a small flathead screwdriver. You'll begin by taking either one of the wires, finding the negative port of the terminal block. Take the white wire, push it in, tighten it down with your flathead screwdriver, give it a nice little tug, make sure it's secure. Then repeat the same thing with your positive wire. Push it in, tighten it down, you should be good to go. Go to negative. Outside wires, this, positive. Yep. All right. I see. unplugged. Let's see what she got. All right. There you go. Let, let's watch these ramp up and down now. So we're at 44%. But so we'll ramp up to, because we can only, well, actually since it's one row, we can go. Yeah, you can go two. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Easy as that. Okay. Sweet. This fucking boat. Dude, right on. <laughs> yeah, it just made everybody's life real easy, huh? Damn, okay. So these will turn on and off now. Until yeah, go ahead, kill them. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>